Okay, so let's look, start looking at some example how we kind of move to this from functions definitions to and calling function definitions to doing ifies. Ifies immediately invoke function expression. All right, so here's a simple function definition. And if I were to run this, and I'm not going to run it because I know you can see what's going to happen. All I did was define a function foo, but I never called it. So no output if I were to run this. What happens if I now try to invoke this function? Well, no, of course, I get the output. I have my same function definition, and the only thing I've added is on line 5, I've invoked the function. Of course, I see the output one time. Only I'll invoke it once. What about here? Um, here, what I've done is just simply done something you've seen when we introduce function. When I introduce function, was a create an anonymous function and assign that to a variable. So I basically said to JavaScript, hey, please evaluate this function definition for me. I don't have a name for it. And whatever, wherever you create this in memory and evaluate it of what it's going to be in memory, just assign it to this variable. So I can then refer to this function later just using this variable. And I didn't have to change anything. Java is fine whether I use the function name or I use it through a variable. I can invoke it. That's important. And so we've seen this before. Well, once I have that function in a variable, I can also invoke it by enclosing it in parentheses. So you want to think of parentheses as a way of saying, I have an expression evaluated for me. And so when we say Java, evaluate this expression, the expression in there happened to be, you know, was this value this function, it just evaluates it. Now, let's look finally here. Now, if I simply take the anonymous function here, this, def this definition of the anonymous function, and just stick it or replace it here, how do I invoke that? Well, this is where things seem like if it broke down a little bit, because like I said, if you put a parentheses, you are saying Java, evaluate this for me. So here I'm saying, evaluate this function definition, and whatever value that comes out to be, well, now I want you to invoke it, that as a function, okay? So it sort of looked like here, where we said evaluate this, assign to a variable, and then invoke that as a function. And so that is what we're doing here. And so now I can invoke this, and I still get the same output, hello world. The reason they call this an iffy is because you have a function expression that's being invoked immediately. Now, there's some other benefits for this. And we're going to revisit that when we talk about, in Chapter 7, about Node.js and, Node, and Node modules. And so one of the benefits, though, is that if you look back here and all the examples up to here, in my global, remember we said, so you always have the global scope. Here, in, I'm introducing a function definition to my global scope. And here, I'm introducing a variable to my, in my global scope. When I have an iffy, as in I do here, I don't introduce anything to my global scope. Nothing is added to the global scope in this case because my function expression is evaluated, run right there and then. And since it's anonymous to begin with, there's nothing to add to the global scope, but I still get the end result. And so this comes in handy when you start building up a number of modules because if you include a module from here, there, and everywhere, you may not know what a module adds to the global scope. So it's best, so you don't have any collision, that nobody adds anything to the global scope. So this becomes the way in which you now start defining modules, okay? Now, I'm not going to say any more on that. Again, there are a number of things here that can trip you up, and I'm going to just say this is enough for now. Again, keeping with the idea that um, if you continue with JavaScript and web development, you are going to run into some other things that I don't cover, and you're going to figure them out and learn more about them from other sources and so on. So this is enough for now.